No. Yes. Yep. No. Yes. No. 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 In 2011, when we're bombarded with causes to support, it's never been more important for youth to take up an active role in politics. Youth are a catalyst for change in our local, national and global communities. But how can we change the political climate for our youth? So how can youth express their voice and help plan for the future? Youth councils, I think, play a really first role, uh, important role as a first step kind of thing. It, um, it's a really accessible way for youth to get involved, it's a really easy way, which um, kind of gives you the know-how or the confidence to actually go ahead of your, own, of your own volition and do your own things, but uh, it provides a really important role in enabling you to take those first steps. How can we increase youth awareness of political issues? There's definitely a, a, a need for education on topic. I mean, I personally am I'm an advocate of um, introducing civic education to the curriculum. Um, because I really think it's a horrible that, you know, not many youth actually know how laws work. I mean, not even many adults know how the intricacies of the select committee and how laws are actually made. And so, having an actual knowledge of the judicial system, the electoral system, the parliamentary system, so people actually know how laws are made, how, you know, decisions are made that can, uh, you know, possibly affect them. It's something that's really good. I mean, we live in a democratic society. But the idea that you know we can live in a democratic society when no one knows how the democratic society works is preposterous. So, what is the Model United Nations? Model United Nations is an event where students step into the shoes of diplomats and they act as the diplomatic representatives of a country um, in simulated sessions of the United Nations where they debate issues and learn about them. So how can Model United Nations be used to make New Zealand youth more interested or engaged with politics? Well, the main thing about Model UNs is that they can educate people about global issues. So if we create this kind of culture of um, being informed, if we can capture people's interests in, about global issues, and then if we can sustain that interest, then we're going to have a whole generation of young people in New Zealand growing up who are more interested about global issues. And, and um, these young people, they'll be global citizens. And um, as Ban Ki-moon said a while ago when he visited Auckland, one of the critical issues facing us in the 21st century now is climate change. So if we have a whole generation of young people aware and engaged about global issues, then we're better equipped to fight these, uh, well, harmful changes to our environment. I think youth participation in uh, the community and decision making is really important because you know, people often say that youth are our future, they often say that youth are the leaders of tomorrow, but really I think young people are actually the leaders of today. Um, you, know, you know, if you look around the world, and you know, the Arab world, uh, Middle East, Africa, the United States, all these revolutions that have kind of been brought up over there, they've been brought up by young people. Young people have led the revolutionary tra uh, change in these um, countries. And I think, you know, often here in New Zealand, we kind of, us young people, we often take for granted the, I guess, the, I guess, you know, everything we have, all the things that have, I guess, you know, have everything that's been done for us. So, you know, I think it's really important that we actually get involved in our community, get involved in decision making. Because really, by doing that, we can actually advance humanity. We can advance um, society as a whole. You know, and they don't need to be these sort of big things like in the in Arab countries where they're currently in you know a revolution. But they can be small things. They can be things such as you know creating a project in your local community. They can be things like you know organizing a music uh, music concert. These small things, they generate positive impacts in the community. And by doing that, I think it really brings the community together. It brings not only young people, but adults, um, older people, you know, people from diverse cultures all together. As leaders and decision makers of the future, it's important that we are engaged with what's happening in the world around us. We can choose who we vote for, what we stand for, and how our future will look. So let's start changing the climate and build a sustainable future.